Got him. Got him. Oh, got him. Got him. I think that's a big one. Well, hello, everybody. We are out here today in a pond, in a little boat. And today, we're going to be doing some topwater fishing. Today, I'm with my boy, Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV, and Mike from First Day Fishing. And I don't know what the heck they're doing, but be sure to go check out their channel so that way you can see their point of view today while we're fishing. Also, we're going to run a giveaway at some point throughout this video, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. Watch this video all the way through. Yeah, we're gonna get out here. We're gonna go throw some top water. It is the afternoon, and these fish should be eating this top water really, really good. I'm gonna start off with a wake bait. We might switch it up, but I think that that's gonna be the ticket. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day, so y'all stay tuned. Like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe down below for more. Let's go ahead and get to fishing. Dude, these gnats are so bad. Look at these Dude, things. So bad, bro. They're all over my hands, man. All right, boys. We're gonna go over here on this bank. I don't know where Noah's going, but this is where I'm going. We're starting off with a wake bait. This is a uh, pretty good bait. I love throwing this thing because usually it catches the big ones. I've heard there is some big ones in here, but we're just going for a couple fish with some really cool blow ups. And we're gonna try not to get killed by these gnats. It is terrible. We are throwing this wake bait on my 7.3 heavy mock crush rod with a custom black reel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go over here to these trees and we're gonna start casting and see if we can't catch anything. I think it's gonna be a good day. I don't think y'all understand. Like, I just really don't think y'all understand how bad these bugs are. I literally probably have like 50 on my body right now. These things hurt too. Like, it's so annoying. It's not even like a hurt, but it's just like an annoying type thing. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It sucks though, they're biting me freaking everywhere. My legs, on my neck. It just sucks, dude. Honestly, I'm probably gonna eat about five of them if I keep talking, so I'm gonna shut up. I need to get closer to these trees or I'm not gonna catch anything, man. I gotta get up on them. I may end up having to throw like a little fluke or something because I could skip up under these trees really well, but I just can't do it with this bait. I could probably do it with a frog or something though. We can make it work. And Noah just caught a big one on my swim bait that I'm letting him borrow, so. Dude, that is the biggest school of fry ever. Oh my gosh. Y'all probably can't see that. There's like a thousand fry right there. That's crazy, dude. Honestly, dude, I might have to put on a frog because they're not really wanting this wake bait too much. I feel like I might need to get up under those trees or something. All right, we got this frog tied on. We're gonna give it a shot because I know I can skip this thing up under these trees. It's a black frog. I'd rather have a natural, but I don't have one. So we're just gonna roll with this one for right now. Let's see how it does. Like that, literally second cast with the frog. That was a small one, but that proves my point right there. If I can get back there, I can get those bites. This water is so clear too, man. It's crazy. Like this is, Super clear water. Oh, dude, that's a big one. That's a big one, dude. What the heck? That was a big one. That was like a four or five pounder. I don't even know how it missed it. I literally gave it a minute and everything, dude. How? Sounds a little bright. All right, boys, so as promised, we are doing a giveaway in today's video. And the baits that we have up for the giveaway is a buzz bait, Ooh. soft plastic frogs, 
<laughs> and finesse green worms. Ooh, I like Ooh. That. The rules to enter into this giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, the A-Dub channel, be subscribed to his channel, Kicking Their Bass TV, and be subscribed to his channel, First Day Fishing. Like this video and comment down below for an extra entry. It is totally free to enter into this giveaway, so be sure to not miss out. I'm gonna try this spook right here. Old walking bait. This is more of a translucent color too, which might be good in this super clear water. That way they can't really tell what it is. They just hear it and they want to eat it. So we're going to tie this thing on. See if it'll do any good. Oh, one just missed me. Oh, he just missed it again. Oh, he just missed. That was a good one, dude. He had it, but he didn't have it good. Oh, man. He hit it one time. I let him have it. And he hit it the second time. And then I tried to set the hook into him, but he just didn't have the hooks. He ate it weird. That was a good one, though. I could see that fish. Got him. Got him. I think that's a big one. Oh, it's not that big. First one, though, on top water. Huh. I thought it was big, and it's a freaking baby, dude. Little baby. But at least he decided he wanted to eat it. I mean, jeez. Little guy. First one is actually really committed, though. I mean, I literally had like a four pounder earlier hit my frog, but it just didn't want to eat it all the way to where I could catch him. So hopefully they'll start eating a little bit better. We've still got some sunlight right now. So maybe as the sun goes down, we'll get a couple more bites. Yeah, what? This right here is huge, bro. Okay. I caught, that's what I call that five. They just started schooling on it. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty cool bite. Not a big one, but a little bit better than the first one we had. A little bit, not by much. Okay, don't hook me, dude. You got to be careful with these fish when they've got all these treble hooks in their mouth. Because they will stick you in a minute. They will definitely stick you. At least we're finally getting a couple to actually eat. That was a really cool blow up. I mean, that thing, I doubt y'all could see it because it was a little bit farther away, but he blew up on it. Something small kind of like moved next to my bait, and then that guy blew up on it. So, yeah. This water, that's what I was just telling Noah, this water is so clear. I think that the fish don't really want to eat as well because they can kind of see that the bait's not real. But at the same time, if you find the right fish, I don't think it matters too much. They'll still eat. There's a big old tilapia. There's a bass coming after my bait. He's literally under it right now. He's, there's a bass. He literally just swam all the way from over there out towards it but my bait was just too close to the boat to where he couldn't eat it i should get bit that's what i thought another small one okay pal i mean we're catching fish we are catching aggressive fish but we just want a big one at some point there we go, fish number three on the top water. There's actually a tilapia on the bed right there as well. That spot just looked really good. So I kind of figured I would catch one right there. Kind of knew it was gonna happen. It just looked too good. I think that we're gonna catch some smaller ones, but I think that at some point we're gonna have the opportunity with a bigger fish. 
Like that one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Dude, he's not even that big. Okay, he's decent though. I'll tell you that right now. A lot better than what we have been catching. That's for sure. I can't even grab this guy. There we go. Okay. I thought that was like a five pounder to be honest with you, but dang dude. That's a good fish though. Look how healthy that fish is. That's that fish is pre-spawn. That fish has not even spawned yet. A lot of these fish I think are post-spawn, but this guy right here, that's a pre-spawner right there, buddy. That is a beautiful fish. We'll go ahead and put this one on the scale just to see how how big he is. I think he's about a two and a half pounder. Maybe a little bit bigger because he's so fat. Yep, 266, a little bit over two and a half pounds. That's what I thought. Look at that though, beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. Give her the old release. Go ahead and catch her buddy. Let's beam one on down there. Oh, I have to catch a fish on this one. Have to. There's no way that I don't catch one. got him that one didn't even blow up it just came up and ate it dude look how small this guy is <laughs> another small one these little guys are tearing this thing up i mean this is a pretty good sized bait it's honestly pretty surprising the way that these things are eating it there we go i think that's number four maybe five he didn't even blow up on it though he just came and grabbed it and took the bait under. I could literally see my bait. Water's so clear. I could see my bait just moving underwater. And I was like, oh, okay. That means I have a fish. Set the hook. Oh! Right in front of the boat. They're eating it now. I think that sun had to go down a little bit more. I just caught a 266. That's the biggest I've caught. Oh! Some of them eat it really good and some of them don't. I don't really know why either. That felt like a good bite though. That was a big blow up. I'm gonna beam this thing across this point. Should be a fish sitting out there. A little grassy point. Really surprised that there's not one sitting there. Oh, that's a good one, I think. Oh yeah, that's decent fish, I think. He's not bad, he's not a giant, but he's not bad, at least. Jeez, boy, calm yourself. Calm yourself, boy. All right, there we go. I don't even know what number that is, but it's another fish. Not a bad one either. I mean, he's not a giant, but not a baby. Nice, just healthy fish. The fish in here is so pretty. Like their colors are really, really good. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice. I guess this is like the little fish bank right here. Oh, that was a good one. Got him. Nice. Not even a good one, but homeboy ate it like he was about five pounds. No lie. There we go. He done screwed my whole bait up, man. So yeah, like I said earlier, haven't caught any absolute giants, but just doing this topwater thing is just so much fun. I mean, 
the way even the small ones are blowing up on it is just so much fun just getting that that blow up and then setting the hook with that braid and just yanking them in i just love it it's so much fun so much fun and maybe we'll just get lucky with a big one oh he just knocked it out of the water come back for it literally just knocked the whole bait out of the water dude i'm not even kidding it maybe was sitting there for four seconds he completely blew it out of the water blew it out of the water and wouldn't hit it again that's crazy there goes another one hitting it again small one just hit it twice there it is just ate it i can see that one he was a baby oh my gosh there's a whole school up under me dude literally a whole school of small ones These bugs are killing me so bad. I knew that was gonna happen. I saw the freaking wake, dude. Missed it. Blew it out of the water again. Let's see if it'll hit it again. <sighs> Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. Never really know what they're gonna do. That should be a fish. Oh, oh no. I think it just knotted up around the end of my rod, dude. These bugs are about to kill me. These bugs are so freaking bad. All right, boys, so this is the deal. These bugs are literally all over me. I'm not even kidding. I probably have 200 to 300 of these things on my body at a time if I don't wipe them off. Like, it's just these little gnats, and they are so annoying, it is unreal. So I'm probably about to head in soon. I'm just gonna kind of fish my way back, but I just have to keep moving so that way they can't get on me too bad. But like it's bad like i can't even hardly stand it i'm literally about to go mentally insane like it's it's crazy these bugs here are no joke like i i can deal with bugs like mosquitoes and whatever but this is like on another level like you look down and your legs are black literally because they're covered and also there's a fish that just jumped right there behind the boat Oh, dude. Got him. That's a better fish. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's like a three or a four pounder. Oh, okay. Maybe a four pounder. I don't know, dude. That's a good one. I'm literally sitting here fighting off gnats while I'm fighting this big bass. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a good one. That's a healthy fish right there. Oh my gosh, that's a big one, dude. Okay, don't come off of there. Stay on there. Okay, yeah. That's like a four pounder, dude. Oh my gosh, finally. Finally got us one to brag about. Finally. Look at that one. That is a good fish right there, guys. Beautiful, I don't think it's a four, but it's well over three. I can guarantee that. We'll go ahead and put her on the scale, see what she weighs. 3.37, so a little bit over three and a quarter. Not bad though, I mean, that is a dang good fish right there. Go ahead and get the release on this one. Nice big fish right there. I don't really know how big they get in this pond, but I'm assuming that that is one of the better ones that lives in here, so that was cool. That was right off this little point with this wood on it or these bushes, I mean. It was just sitting right here off the end of this point. Got him. Smaller fish. 
That one didn't really have that great of a blow up, but I just saw the bait going down like I did with a couple of the other ones. This is definitely not as good of a fish, but hey, it's a fish. There we go. I have no idea which number that is, but I don't know. It's a fish. We're catching them. Oh, that was a bigger one, dude. That was a bigger one. I didn't get a hook in him, but I don't know if he'll eat again. Dang. Dang it. Got him. Oh, little baby, little baby. Nice. Little guy. Some of these fish just have such a big appetite. It's pretty crazy. I mean, this is a pretty good size walking bait. It's definitely not small. And they'll just eat it. There's one. Another little guy. He completely, totally missed the bait. There we go. Nice fish. All right, boys, just wrapped up the day and uh, those gnats absolutely smoked us. Fish did too, fish were smoking the spook, but those gnats slash mosquitoes, whatever they were, they are terrible. And we were actually about to go mentally insane. I'm not even kidding. There's literally so many, it was crazy. We had a good afternoon slay sesh with some topwater bass. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. They were straight up annihilating that spook, which was pretty awesome. There wasn't any complete giants, but there was some good healthy fish. And uh, any fish on top water is a good fish. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like it if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. A-dub out.